Well, I just had a phone call from uh, the Tesla service centre in West Drayton, London, and my Chadmo adapter has arrived, which is very exciting. So I'm actually just going to drive off there and pick it up, and then maybe on the way home I'm going to have a go and see if it works, see what sort of speed I can get out of it, although I'm not expecting it to charge that quickly. Uh, at the moment because I'm just going to stop at an Ecotricity one and I think they're limited to about 25 kilowatts so either way we'll find out won't we don't know if you can see that in front of us but we're actually following a BMW i8 don't see those all the time in fact I think this might be the first time I've actually seen one out on the road nice looking car bit tricky to get video of it though unfortunately because the mount that my uh, phone is on is not really designed for pointing out the front in fact I think it's not even focused on it nope it's determined to focus on the inside of the car isn't it these days. <clears throat> Over the Easter bank holiday I actually um, saw three Teslas just driving down the motorway on the M5 and one on the M2 on the M5 and one on the M1. don't think I've ever actually seen a Tesla on the road before. Um, well actually that's not true, I saw a Roadster on the M25 once. But other than that I haven't seen any Model S's out and about, only seen them at superchargers and see service centres and store openings and things like that but not not just driving down the road exciting really obviously plug-in cars are starting to get more and more common I wouldn't quite say they were common yet but certainly getting more common Right, well, got a, we're at the West Drayton um, service centre, I don't know if you can see that in the background there. And I've got my Chadamo adapter. All neatly packed away in there. So we're going to go and give that a test in a minute. had an interesting conversation about what it is that actually limits the speed of charging of the Chadamo. Basically what it is, is that Tesla have told the cars to limit the charge speed at all of the Ecotricity electric highway charge points. So when Nissan, oh, sorry, let's put the destination in. Yeah. So when Nissan tell Tesla that the um, uh, charges have all been upgraded and can actually handle 100 amps plus, I think it's 125 amps is the max they'll take. Um, then at that point, Tesla will tell all the cars that they can draw more than 75 amps from the Ecotricity Chadamo points. But until that time, the cars will limit themselves to 75 amps. So it's sort of quite interesting that it's actually the car that's keeping track of where it can and can't uh, draw more than 75 amps, which means that once Nissan give the thumbs up to Tesla and Tesla will be able to release the full potential of the adapter so rather annoyingly initially uh, having the Chadamo adapter is not going to make massive difference to me personally because I have the dual chargers so I'm going to get about the same speed from Chadamo maybe a slight amount faster 
than I would from using the um, the dual chargers on an AC Type 2 um, socket or plug. The, <laughs> slightly, I mean, it is a good thing, it's nice to have it as well though, because not all of the AC points work and they're not all that reliable, although generally speaking, it, also the Chadmo is not that reliable, so you can't you can't really rely on either of them, but the fact that I've now got both options is quite handy. And there are charges out there where I'll be able to draw the full sort of 40, 50 kilowatts. Uh, although, at the top of my head, I can't think of any near where I live, so unfortunately I'm not going to get the opportunity to test that out. But, <clears throat> there we have it. The only other slight thing though is because I've got the dual chargers, I always try and use the sockets um, at motorway service stations where I can. So the sort of 22 kilowatt charge posts uh, are my, they're my favorites because the thing about those is um, Tesla's, there are only basically two cars I think which can take full advantage of those 22 kilowatt charge posts. And those are dual charger Teslas and um, Renault Zoe's <clears throat> and the Renault Zoe's because they can actually charge at 43 kilowatts they'll actually use the type 2 that's built into the uh, built into the you know on the other side of the Chadamo adapter if you see what I mean as opposed to the actual separate posts because they get twice the speed from there so because of that it's actually quite nice because you can plug into one of these 22 kilowatt posts and just sit there for you know, the entire two hours free parking that you get at these motorway service stations. And you're fairly confident that nobody's gonna, you know, complain or get irate with you. Whereas if you use up a Chadamo um, quick charger, then it's entirely possible that somebody will turn up in their Nissan Leaf looking for a charge and, you know, obviously nobody wants to have to wait and then charge, it just doubles the length of time it takes to get back on the road. Um, especially important for Nissan Leaf drivers because they have to stop and charge so regularly. So, for that reason, I don't know how much use my Chadamo adapter is actually going to get in the near future. Um, but it is a useful backup, as I said. We're gonna, we're gonna take liberties with the uh, Chadamo adapter at, um, at South Mims, though, because I want to test it out. So it's kind of like a, a special occasion testing out the, the charger. Normally I would just use the 22 kilowatt posts at South Mims. But I don't think half an hour on the Chadmo is gonna hurt anyone. <laughs> Hope I don't burn it out. Very exciting. All right, I'll let you know how it goes. Well, that figures. I haven't seen a Nissan Leaf charging at uh, South Mims for a while, but guess what? There's one charging here now. So I'm going to stick it on the Type 2 charger for a little bit, just to put some juice in. And then what we'll do is we'll swap over to the Chadamo when the Nissan Leaf goes. Assuming the Nissan Leaf goes relatively soon. Uh, I might go get some lunch as well, I think that's a good idea. Right, well, this one leaves finished, and so is the Outlander plug-in hybrid that was here as well. Second after that, and so now we've moved into the Chadamo uh, Bay, and let's see if we can get it working. Some interesting instructions here, seems pretty basic. Plug that up first, then plug that up, then turn that on. Cool, can live with that. Oh, it's quite heavy.
I think this is best done as a two hand process. Right. Charge ports. Works, I'll eat my hat. <laughs> Hang on, this is fun. Well, there you go. I'm gonna just give it one more go, unplugging everything and plugging it back up and we'll see if that makes any difference. Well, I failed to get the charger working at South Mims. Um, it said a vehicle cam bus error. So, not 100% sure what that means. It, does, it did seem to start charging, it went through initialization. And then it showed you the sort of voltage of the battery and started putting amps in and it got up to about 19 amps and then it decided it was done. And it did that about three, I tried it three or four times and every time was the same. I don't think what order I plugged things in would make any difference, but I suppose you never know. Either way, I'm gonna just nip to uh, the um, London Gateway services, I think they are where they've got some of the newer ABB um, Chadamo points and I'll give one of those a go just to sort of find out whether it's a case of it doesn't work at all and never will or whether it's a case of, I don't know, talking to Tesla and maybe the car needs an update, I doubt it, I think what's more likely is it's just a really dodgy old um, quick charger I think it's actually one of the first quick chargers in the country so I'll be overly surprised that it's not working. To be honest, I would have been more surprised if it had worked. Um, so, we will go and see what the situation is at the London Gateway Services. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, there you go. Actually on charge, would you believe it? At the impressive rate of 70 amps. Hello, Munchkin. Let's have a quick look in the car. That works out at 24 kilowatts. So about eight, nine percent faster than using the Type Two. Not that impressive to be honest, but hey, 
it certainly gives me another option and one day hopefully they'll make chargers which can actually handle a bit of a faster charge rate. Just also make one, one more quick video about how to uh, disconnect the, um, the charger. This Chad mode is a bit tricky to disconnect. So what you do is you start off by going stop charging. And then you have to present the card. Just hold that on there for a bit. Then it stops. Right. And then you go round to the charger. Press and hold the button. And then this is the tricky bit. What you have to do is you have to pull back the guard bit here and press this button on top here and then it will pop out and release. And then you put this in the back of the car and the other bit goes back where it belongs.